You might want to take an extra careful look the next time you check out at your local supermarket. A customer at a Georgetown Safeway was doing just that when he noticed what he thought looked like a credit card skimmer. News 4's Joseph almost spoke to him about what he did next and has the important warning for consumers. If you shop at the Georgetown Safeway, I'd be checking your bank statements. A very important reminder, not just at this Safeway, but anytime you take out the plastic, to pay. So I come here probably three times a week. But it was last night's visit that John Perry Miller says was different than any other. After this experience, I'll probably be using cash. Well, it all started at this self-checkout. So I go in and I notice like at the little thing I'm at, the keypad was sparkling, like brand new. And so I yanked on it and it was loose. And so I called over the attendant and um, he and he uh, was like, no, it's not a skimmer. And I said, it's a skimmer. And so we yanked it off together all the way. And he was like, oh, my God. And I said, see, you know, it's a skimmer. John posted this photo on social media and it took off. That's so it. you noticed that these buttons were super clean compared to the last time you were here. And that's what tipped it off. Exactly. I mean, but you can see by the picture. Look at the buttons underneath it. The real buttons. The real buttons. I mean, there's a night and day difference. So we asked Safeway a bunch of questions, including if they can confirm that this was indeed one of those credit card skimmer devices that can steal info, like card numbers, pins, and security codes. This is what they said. Quote, Safeway takes these issues seriously and is investigating this matter in coordination with law enforcement to ensure appropriate action has been taken. John, now reflecting on his post, seen by hundreds of thousands. I'm glad that I can make sure people are aware of this because I do think that it's important that people are checking. Now, if cash isn't king for you, just take a couple extra seconds before swiping or inserting your card. Experts and the FBI say you should look for anything that's loose, broken, or crooked anywhere on the machine, especially near the keypad. And for the highest safety possible, just use Google or Apple Pay. I'm Joseph Olmo, News 4.